This car can be systematic, hydromatic, ultramatic, woo! Why can be green lightning? Yes, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Timmy Trinkle, also known as Horror Fan for Life, and I'm going to be reviewing the movie Grease. Now, this is one of my all time favorite movies, and it is my favorite musical. And this movie, Grease, was released on June 16th, 1978. It is a romantic musical comedy that received positive reviews with critics. It has a 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb, a very low 75% on Rotten Tomatoes. I think that's way too low, and a 92% on Google. It had a $6 million budget, and it made $395 million at the box office. And it was directed by Randall Kleiser and written by um, Bronte Woodard. And this movie stars John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John, Starker Channing and Jeff Conway. And it centers around two groups of people. Um, you have the Pink Ladies and you have the T-Birds. And there's a rule, the T-Birds are the only ones that can date the Pink Ladies and so on. Uh, or at least that's what it's supposed to be. But this movie starts off, um, you have Danny and Sandy on a beach it's the summertime. It's right before school's going to start. She's supposed, she's supposed to be going back to Australia. He's going back to high school. Going to be a senior. Well, Sandy's parents have a change of plans. She ends up staying. But what she don't know is, is that Danny Zuko goes to uh, the high school where she's going to be going to. But we'll get to that later on. But this movie uh, starts off with a great song to start the credits and everything. And then you meet up with the T-Birds the first day of school, uh, get to know where their classes are and all that stuff. Uh, at lunchtime, they sing a great duet, Travolta and Newton John do. Uh, and then from there, uh, Sandy reveals to the girls that uh, she had a nice summer fling with Danny Zuko, and they laugh it off because she has no idea that he's there. And, uh, they end up doing something kind of mean to her uh, later on at the pep rally, but uh, Danny and his buddies are all cool. And uh, uh, after a, you know a few songs, you see uh, Danny first meets Sandy again, and at first he's real sweet, but because he's in front of his buddies, he wants to act like a jerk and. Uh, brush everything off, and uh, that's just not the Sandy that uh, she knew during the summer. But uh, this movie is filled with great characters, great cast. Uh, the music in this movie, the score is phenomenal. And as a matter of fact, getting to the soundtrack, the soundtrack was the second best selling album of 1978. And do you know which one was number one in 1978? I'll give you a hint. It was another John Travolta movie. Um, it is Saturday Night Fever. It was number one, um, a best selling album in 1978. And besides this movie being a great musical, um, it had five Golden Globe nominations, uh, three People's Choice wins, one for Best Supporting Actress for Stalker Channing. Uh, and then other two for favorite musical and favorite motion picture. Uh, there was one Oscar nomination for best song for Hopelessly Devoted to You. And uh, funny they mentioned that song because originally in the script, uh, Olivia Newton-John, she didn't have a solo performance uh, in the movie originally. They had to go back and reshoot uh, her doing that song uh, so she had her own solo performance because John had his Stockyard Channing uh, had two uh, songs in the movie and uh, yeah that was a, a kind of a mistake and they went back and fixed it and, uh, that song ended up being uh, the best of the bunch uh, 
But this is a great musical. Like I said, it's got great songs, great performances, and it's just a lot of fun. And being that it's been since 1978, you know, 40 years, and the movie still holds up to this day, and it's a just a personal favorite of mine. Um, another reason I love it is it came out the year I was born. There are some great movies that came out the year I was born. You're talking National Lampoon's Animal House, uh, Grease, Halloween, uh, Dawn of the Dead, just a lot of movies came out in 1978. And uh, yeah, I love this movie. The sequel, Grease 2, however, I don't want to talk about that one. I was forced to watch that one uh, years ago when I had a roommate. Um, but a deal's a deal. But it was a god awful movie. Um, I'll probably end up doing a review for it. Um, but it is a garbage dump of a movie. But the original Grease is a fantastic movie. If you have not seen this movie, you got to check it out. Definitely get the Blu-ray because it is beautiful looking. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'm going to give Grease, of course, a 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So in the comment section below, tell me, what are your thoughts and opinions on the movie Grease? And what are some of your favorite musicals? Uh, there's so many for me. You, know, you, you got Mary Poppins. I said of course Greece uh, there, there's just so many one of my favorites from uh, a long time ago seven brides for seven brothers that is an excellent musical comedy I also recommend that you check that one out too and I will do a review for that sometime down the road uh, but other than that uh, in the comment section below besides tell me some of your favorite musicals uh, what are some of your favorite songs from the soundtrack devoted to you is excellent and uh, grease lightning is one of my favorites uh, sandy is another one when he's singing at the drive-in um, but other than that i thank you guys for watching yet another movie review it's a personal favorite of mine and uh, yeah don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and share these reviews with all your family and friends i appreciate each and every one of you who want to take the time to watch these videos other than that, you guys have a great evening, a great weekend, and check you later.